I'm David Story and this is your Look News 411. Snow and cold making for a wintry Tuesday across the Tri-Counties. A cold day on the streets of Glens Falls where the low at the nearby Warren County Airport in Queensbury surprised us all. Temperatures overnight dipped to minus 18 degrees. Add some snow to the mix and it has been a bone chilling wintry day across our region. A state trooper is dead and a Warren County man is in fair condition after an accident on the thruway Monday night. Police say Trooper David Cunniff had, had pulled Eric Heller of Stony Creek over on the thruway in Amsterdam for speeding when a tractor trailer struck the back of the police cruiser. That rig dragged the trooper car approximately 50 yards, pushing it off into an embankment. It then struck Heller's vehicle, also dragging it about 75 yards before coming to rest on top of the car. The rig was driven by Gary Blakely of Ontario. So far, no charges have been filed. A second judge has ruled in favor of Republican Paul Sauceville to continue to serve as the town supervisor in Malta. An appellate judge ruled Tuesday morning that two ballots for Democratic challenger Cynthia Young are invalid. Late last month, a lower court judge threw them out because voters wrote on the back of those ballots. Sauceville won the race by one vote. A rafting company who defied a judge and continued to send unlicensed guides down the Hudson River has been fined $25,000. The Times Union reports Fulton County Judge Richard Giardino has ordered Hudson River rafting company owner Patrick Cunningham to pay $5,000 for each of the five trips this summer on part of the Hudson where licensed guides are required by the state. The judge cited Cunningham for contempt for disobeying his May order to use licensed guides where required. Well, over a thousand people turned out Monday night for a forum on casino gaming in Saratoga Springs. The event was hosted by the Saratoga Chamber of Commerce and Tourism and Convention Bureau. The Saratoga Casino and Raceway has indicated it will apply for a license to run a fully fledged casino. Well, you could be a multi-millionaire by this time tomorrow. Tuesday night's Mega Millions jackpot rose to $636 million this morning. That's just $20 million short of the U.S. record. The one-time cash payout is a whopping $341.2 million. And that's the latest headlines from the Look Newsroom. You can get local news right here at looktvonline.com 24-7. And we thank you for watching.